All right, what's going on, friends? I hope you can hear me good. I don't have my mic on, but it's really windy out here, and I know my mic just makes a lot of wind noise. So today I'm gonna rebuild my pool heater. I don't think, I think I can make this hopefully twice as good as it is right now. I got some half inch outside diameter soft copper, and I have a hundred foot of it. And I'm not exactly sure what the size of this was in here, but there's only 50 foot of it. Well, let me get this unhooked and I'll put it down on my saw horses and I'll show you how I'm gonna roll that 100 footer up inside there. Gotta remove this one. Now these screws here are just a, uh, a screw that you hooked like a uh, metal roofing down with because they come with this rubber washer. Just in case you wanna do the same thing. Now I'm replacing these because these started to just dry rot. It didn't work so good. But I'll show you what I'm going to use. All right, now I'm going to rip all this apart. Hopefully that's not something you got to do, but I'm going to rip this apart. And if you want to see a little more about this build, I will put a link to the this build at the end of this video, and I'll put a link to this down in my description if you want to kind of see what I did with this, because I do have like, uh, I think it's aluminum down here on the bottom, just to make that, I thought the metal the metal aluminum would painted black would help more than just painted wood. And then I did use black silicone here. So let me get this out and we'll get to started. Then I'll start putting in that other 100 foot of soft copper in here. And this is what I have that I'm going to hook up to my other soft copper, this. Only thing is, I'm not really sure what this is for and this is steel. And I'm gonna to try to paint that, but I don't know how long that's gonna last. Because this fits inside of that PEX, and this is gonna fit for my soft copper. That's a compression fitting. This part I'm not worried about, but this part I am. But we'll see what happens. It's gonna last longer than that rubber did anyway. I got the frame off. This is a lot of tearing apart. Hopefully this turns out good and I help you guys out and I save you a lot of money because I'm spending more money now, but that's all right. Because that stinking plexiglass costs $100. So I hope you can find it cheaper somewhere else. I just want my pool to stay like 85 degrees all summer. And the other one did work. I just want it to work better. This is for me. So whatever happens, I'm gonna, it's gonna be 100% what's happening. <laughs> like I believe some of these people that make these videos on YouTube, like I, I might have talked about this before, but they make the water come out of the end of their heaters and they just let them dribble out really slow. And I think that's crazy because I don't really think, I have 11,000 or 13,000 gallons or something like that in that above ground pool. That's a lot of gallons of water. You gotta, I want the water to come out of this about I'm hoping eight to 10 degrees warmer than what the water already is. I don't need it to come out like 50 degrees warmer, 100 degrees warmer, but only dribble at the end. That's all unhooked. What the heck am I gonna do with this now? Let's see if I can get this silicone that I used last time. It's black silicone. Out of this thing. Oh yeah. Inch and a quarter, I don't think it really matters, but, and the plywood that I used is, what did I use? Five eighths. All right, this is, like I said, this is, the outside diameter of this copper is a half inch, outside. I do have a spring, so it doesn't kink. Spring. I'll throw some of these in the description too because I have used these a couple times. I don't know. This is the cheapest thing you can get for copper so it does not kink. Because if you just try to bend this stuff, it's going to kink it and you'll be in trouble. So, but this, this stuff is a lot easier to bend than that, than that stuff.
see my nice bench right there. Nice. No kinks. Wind this out. I remember the first first one was simple. It gets harder as it gets tighter. All right, I got this all coiled around here, and it definitely was not like as easy as I thought it was gonna be. It went pretty easy in the beginning. Then I had to go get my older boy, and he helped me kind of do the end, so it doesn't look as pretty as I wanted it, but my biggest thing is I want to heat my water up. So now I have to pull this outside and spray paint this all black, so. Let me pull this out in my driveway and I'm going to spray paint this. I'm going to rough these up a little because I noticed on my last one it really peeled off. So I think if I sand this a little, it won't peel off. At least as easy. I can see it's sticking better where I sand it. Oh, and I recommend if you are going to paint anything, for, if you're going to paint, if you're doing this for your pool heater, get flat black. I'm going to cut this plexiglass and if you want to cut your plexiglass it's kind of like if you've ever cut siding plastic vinyl siding I put my blade in my saw backwards because if not it's a really pain in the butt to try to cut so wear eye protection and hearing protection because it's allowed At least that's how I do it. Now, now I did make my plexiglass a little bit larger than my box because I'm hoping it's going to protect it from the weather, from the rain and stuff. So, if, just in case you want to do that. This better make my pool warmer. I'll tell you what, it's a lot of work. If you're new to my channel here, it'd really be awesome if you could hit that subscribe button. And I have like I don't know, 15, 20 other videos on my pool, videos on my lawn mowers, split air conditioners, campers, cars, lots of stuff. Check my channel out. And here's a trick if you got some silicone and you got leftover, I put a nail on the end. And then I wrap it with electrical tape. Cause I didn't, I haven't used this since last year, and it was still good. Wrap real tight around where that nail is, if you want to try to save it. Sorry. I have all the silicone down, and it's all clamped on. I'm gonna let this sit overnight. Then I'll drill out my holes. All right, it's the next day. I know it was only a couple seconds for you guys, but 
I just used my table saw and got dust all over my nice new rebuilt solar heater. This is all dried on there pretty good. And I really feel like I could just drill my holes in there. But I've drilled through this stuff. This is why I'm replacing it because I tried to drill through that last one and I cracked it so bad. So now I measured out my measurements on this piece of plywood and I came in. I don't know if it matters if you guys want to know, but I did start like about two and a half inches in, then I went six inches, six inches, six, six, and I'm just gonna go all the way around. And then screw this thing down. But now I can lay this on here, and this is like an inch and a half thick because I'm my frame is built out of a two by four, which is an inch and a half thick. So I can easily put this down and drill holes in here and keep them all centered. And now I can just take this clamp, clamp it on. I like these big ones, so I'm going to use this other big one. I can take all these off. I don't need them there. If you hear kids screaming, it's because I have like I don't know, five or six kids at my house. It's summertime. It's been crazy here. And only two of them are mine. Oh, and then I did, I did measure down like, I measured so I would only drill through the plywood and the plexiglass. Cause I didn't want to drill too far. You can feel it go right through that plexiglass. See how good I do. It's good, I think. Oh yeah, I like it. That's nice. Sucker won't come up now. How is my sound out there? Cause I decided not to wear my mic in this video. I don't remember why. Oh, I started outside and there was too much wind noise. I need to get one of them little fluffy things for all my mic when it's windy. Oh, I can't put one there yet. Right, let me. Let me keep drilling. So line that one up, right about there. Clamp it on, clamp it on. The next sucky thing is, it is kind of cool and there's no sun outside, so I can't even try this yet. A solar heater is not gonna work when you have no sun. Kind of like solar panels. Do not work when there's no sun. I already did that. It's not gonna go down and hit my dang line, is it? I think I'm gonna move over just a little bit. Almost done. I feel like I want to be double safe. It would suck to do the last one and I freaking broke some. Here we go. I just, I'm just gonna take some sandpaper and sand down these edges a little. Definitely right here, because this is going to be where it's going to be close to the pool. <clears throat> All right, now I have to hook this piece on the end of my copper so I can hook it up to the, my pecs. This is just a compression fitting that's going to go over that copper. 
This piece here, I'm not sure. I bought this off the Amish. I'm not really sure what this was for. I did paint it, so I don't know how long it's gonna last because I think it's actually just steel, but I'm gonna put some Teflon tape around this and then put it on here, and then we're gonna put it on and we're gonna see how that goes. I know the stuff I used last year didn't last very long anyway, so. You know how to put Teflon tape on something? There's a right way and a wrong way. I always gotta think about it, because I'm not a plumber. You gotta think how it's spinning. So it's gotta go on like this. The side that's going into the pe pecs and going into my pool, I don't have anything on that. <clears throat> I will show you here in a second how this is all gonna work. All right, this is where my water is coming from my pump. So I need to shorten this up. And that's gotta get put on there. So I can put it into there. So, this is gonna jack this all up. I know it. I'm gonna mess my paint job up. Not too bad. Ah, it's nice. This has gotta go first. And this. Oh, perfecto. And that's good one. And it almost looks like I know what I'm doing. Three quarters, seven eighths. Nice. Hopefully that will tighten on that and seal on that. I hope. Where's my wrench? I don't know. Hopefully, let's hope that doesn't leak. I have one more trick if that leaks. I'll let you, I'm gonna turn the water on and we'll see if that leaks so you guys will, you let me know. Oh, leaking. Foam bitch. All right, hang on. All right, you think this is gonna work? I don't know, heat gun? Works on PVC. I don't know if it softens this stuff or not. We're gonna find out. Ooh. Oh yeah. <clears throat> I think it worked. Huh? All right, let me go turn the water on for the second time. Let's see what happens. Oh, what the flippity crap, still leaking. Somebody out there is gonna know how to fix this. I think I fixed it. And I got a cookie. See, you can hear it dripping. And it's warm. It's still 82 degrees in there. But the sun ain't even out. So, I'm gonna show you what this can do when the sun's out. I was a little scared for a second. But after heating that up again, I think I got it. All right, real quick, I'm gonna show you how I get my water to go through my solar heater. And I don't use any other pump. I only use the pump that is with my pool. So I don't have to run two pumps. If you wanted to have a solar heater with two pumps, I guess you could make your solar heater huge. And it would probably be warmer than what mine is. But I'll show you real quick here at the end of the video what I am getting out of mine. And I'm happy with it, so Hopefully this helps you out and we'll show you either if you want to build one or if you don't want to build one. But now I have like a Y right here and then I have two ball valves here. This one goes to the inlet of my pool where the water would shoot out like your little jet. And then this right here just goes to my solar heater. It's pretty simple. And if you want to know a little more about this portion of it, I will put a link at the end of this video to the first video when I built this solar heater for the first time. I did all this and I talked about all my fittings I used. This, this pipe right here just comes out of my sand filter. Pretty simple. Comes out of there, hard pipe, hard plumbed, and then goes into my pool. Do you see that pool water? Do you see how nice and clear that is? I have a couple different videos. I have an older one and a new one that I go over my daily, weekly, monthly, everything I do to this pool. 
to keep it looking crystal clear. I will, I will put a link to that video also at the end of this video, and I will, I'll try to put that also down in the description. That's my Aper pull vac. Pretty much any pull vac is awesome, I'm telling you. If you have an in-ground pull, an above-ground pull, it is 100% worth it to buy a pull vac. It doesn't really have to be an Aper, but a pull vac, unless you just love vacuuming your pool for a couple hours. All right, this is the temperature of my pool, 80 degrees. That's the temperature. All right, and if you like this hat, my wife got me this for Father's Day, keeping my bald head from getting burnt. And it's got the American flag underneath. I got a, like a, a meat thermometer, and I'm gonna show you what the temperature is coming out of my solar heater. And I have checked this the last couple days, like when it was 79 degrees outside, I was getting about five to six degrees warmer coming out of that, out of my solar heater. When it was 86 degrees, it was still only coming out five to six degrees warmer. I thought the hotter it got outside, the warmer the water got, the warmer it would come out of there, but it still seems to come out that speed all day long, five to six degrees warmer. Let me show you here. And I apologize if there's a bunch of wind noise. So it was like 80 over there. And it is coming out of here, 80, there's 85.6, 85.5, it's like about 85, 85 and a half, 85, 4, 85, so about 85 coming out of there. So I'm getting it to come out of my solar heater all day long, five degrees warmer. Maybe in the beginning of the day when the sun is not as high in the sky, it might be a little cooler, but... I think it's helping. It's definitely better than not having it at all. I can make it come out of there hotter if I want, if I want to slow it down, but then I don't heat up as much water all day long. So this is what I ended up with. I put it, I did end up putting it up a little bit on an angle because the, the way the sun is hitting it. So, and it's actually, the sun is behind the clouds right now and it's running about five degrees warmer. So I'm sure here and there it might go six, seven, six or seven degrees warmer, but it's doing pretty good right now with the sun behind the clouds. So, well, that's the end of this video. I hope this video helped you out a little bit. If you decide you want to build one or you think maybe it's, you don't want to do all that work for five or six degrees. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and hit that subscribe button to help support this channel. Watch one of my other videos I have on this pool. I have, I think that one video has hundreds of thousands of views that I have on keeping this pool crystal clear. And my, the newest one I have is actually getting more views now than that one. So watch one of them videos. God bless and have a great summer swimming in your pool.